And this is uh, Pinterest. I'm back at Pinterest. S. Yeah, man. Uh, the I would call I this, this the symbol. girly social, the girlier so social media network because one, I see all the um, recipe stuff and a lot of fashion <laughs> stuff on Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, you know it's interesting. Pinterest, if you think about it, and it had such high potential because, uh, and this is just from a business perspective. People go to Pinterest. If you guys aren't familiar with Pinterest, Pinterest is a social media where you can basically share your dream board, right? It's a it's a platform where you can accumulate things on the web that you like and that you might aspire to have or be one day and put it on your dream board, right? And then other people can look at your dream board and get ideas and all that good stuff. And if you think about it from an advertiser's perspective, you know, if you're th talking about Facebook or Twitter, you're talking about things that have happened to you either in the present or the past. And so to show you ads about what's in the present or what's in the past is one thing, but wouldn't it be cool if you're showing somebody ads related to their dream board? And so Pin So I just I just pulled mine up, AJ, yeah. right? So like so I get we got we got Mike Tyson on here. We got some some workout stuff, some movie stuff, some recipes. We got some soccer, some movies. So it does represent, you know, uh, a tad of your own like personality on here. And so if they had a smart enough ad algorithm, it would just make sense that this would be the ideal place to place ads, in my humble opinion, because, gosh, you're putting people's dreams and then you're showing them advertisements on how they can connect to their dreams you know the other platforms like i said if you're putting up a picture it's a picture of something that happened in the past it's done it's and so when you're running ads about stuff in the past you're kind of missing the target but pinterest would be so positioned but at the same time i don't know if it's how the company is run or how the company is perceived by investors if i look at this chart they seem to just be in this sideways shaling pattern. They're not too expensive. They're not our cheapest stock, but they're not too expensive. But I love Pinterest because they are really easy to pull a options income out of, meaning every time options expiration comes, we can have a premium become ours. We can sell a premium have it expire worthless, and therefore we get to keep that premium that we sold a couple weeks earlier. And I'm pointing out Pinterest because Pinterest is coming down off of a high. And so this would be a perfect time for us to either, uh, for an initial position, to be thinking about either shorting Pinterest the stock or buying some put options uh, that are deep in the money far out in time, this would be our initial covering position. And then when we hit our bottoms around $22, maybe somewhere between $22, $23, we can sell put premium and create those income trades, right? Create those income trades. And so I wanted to feature Pinterest again because we are just right now, and I would say maybe not today because we're going into a shortened day, a holiday. Uh, um, but when we get back after, even during this little break between the two holidays, you might consider either paper trading if you want to get the experience or even uh, doing just a small amount of setting up an initial position and then starting to collect the premiums once a month, like clockwork. Every third Friday of the month, we collect a premium.